Hey, it's Alpha Pickle here today with a bow tutorial for the Tinkerer's Construct mods. Check it out. Hello, everybody. So first off, I'm just going to show you the recipes to make all these things I'm going to be going through in the tutorial. In case you wanted to skip ahead and make them, go for it. So I'm just going to hover over all the items so you can see what they are and you can just copy and make them for yourselves. And while we're going through these, I just want to take the time and let you know I appreciate you guys that have been supporting me so far. And I got a new mod pack series for Enigmatica pack. It's a mod pack on the Twitch launcher. And I am starting a Let's Play on it. So hopefully you guys enjoy that too. And uh, make sure you check that out, please. And here we are again with the recipes. So first thing I would like to know is the main one I would suggest using is going to be the short bow. That's my preferred weapon, but this kind of goes across all the bows. That's why I went ahead and showed you the recipe for all of them. So we got the short bow, the another short bow, the long bow, and the crossbow. And the big difference is short bow is going to shoot quicker. It has less range though. Longbow has more range and I think slightly more damage. I'm not sure. But it has more range and then the crossbow is not my personal favorite it's a bit slower but it's gonna have more damage but all these should one shot for you if you make them correctly so you might as well make the quickest one which is a short bow so the reason we got two different short bows is the big difference is the one with all cobalt is going to be quicker speed so you see that draw speed 0.44 but it's going to be less damage but again it's going to one shot anyways so i would recommend this one the next one is the cobalt steel one which is very little difference in the draw speed it's slightly slower it's barely noticeable and it's going to do quite a bit more damage so if you're going for a more damage one for like bosses or something the cobalt steel one might be the way to go and then we got several arrow types but honestly the best one is almost always going to be the feather fletching the just regular wood shaft and the mandolin okay let's go over the damage on these two bows that i'm going to be showing off the first one just the regular cobalt short bow it is going to do 23.8 hearts of damage. So that should one hit all your standard mobs. And that's without any nether quartz on the arrow. With nether quartz on the arrow, it's going to do 31.9 almost damage. So more than enough to one hit mobs. And then with the steel one, same thing. It's going to be 27 damage with no quartz on the arrow. And it's going to be 35 almost on the damage for the one with the quartz added to the arrow. So to make the bow I prefer, again it's going to be the short bow with two cobalt bow limbs and a bowstring. And on the bowstrings guys, it really doesn't matter what you do. The only thing the bowstring is going to affect is the durability. There's a couple bowstrings with added mods in Tinker's Construct that might give you a different trait. So that's why we're using the soul one. Because if you look at the sold one, it gives you a rideable trait. So it just gives you one more modifier. You do lose durability though, because it has 0.75 modifier. But you can use any of the other standard bowstrings that just have modifier one to keep that durability if you'd like. And they're all gonna do the same damage. On the fletching guys, just make sure you note that there is different fletchings. The only thing they're gonna change is the durability and the accuracy of the arrow. So I would almost always stick with the feather one because it has accuracy 100% you'll see there. Whereas all the other ones added in mod packs usually have less accuracy. And then on the shaft, the wood one is again the best one probably because modifier one, it doesn't really do anything crazy. But there is several other ones to keep note of. Bone one has a splitting effect, it's pretty cool. Uh, end rod. You got ice, which freezes mobs. You got blaze rod, which makes them hover when you hit them. And then reeds, which is breakable. And all those add slightly different traits. And I'll probably show you a couple of them. So with your bow and now your arrow crafter, just the standard ones. On the bow, the only thing you're really going to want to add to it, at least in the beginning with your modifiers, is going to be redstone. Uh, sharpness, you can add, by the way. Just be aware if you add quartz to it, it's going to look like it adds damage. It does not add damage to your arrows. It'll make it so you can hit mobs for more damage with your bow, which I don't expect you to be hitting them with your bow. So it's not going to change the damage on the arrows. And as you'll see there, we're at the maximum level for haste, which is going to make the draw speed quicker. And now we're down to that 0.44 draw speed. It takes five levels to do that and then same with the quartz it's going to take five levels and i would do five levels on the arrow and there we go now we got the maximum level for sharp on our arrow and that's pretty much it for the tutorial you can add other modifier fires just like all the other tools and weapons there's not really much to add to the bow the only thing you can add to your bow is going to be mending moss nether star 
the reinforcement so it basically doesn't take durability every time you shoot it emerald diamond and redstone those are like the only modifiers you can add to your short bow the actual bow on the arrows you can add most all the modifiers basically anything you can add to the sword for the most part so that's why we added quartz for the sharpness effect so it does more damage but you can also add mending moss for that so it repairs and several other things so just check them out there's one that makes it so it can shoot underwater so that's a cool effect so here is the bow we just crafted i got some target dummies out here so you can see the damage that one does 31.8 as you can see so good amount of damage it'll one hit most all your mobs so blazes creepers zombies skeletons all that good stuff now let's check out the arrow with bone on the shaft so this is the bone shaft as the splitting effect so as you can see sometimes it becomes two arrows i don't know if you guys saw that but it's kind of cool effect so if you want to lose a little bit of durability on your arrow it takes off literally four durability so it's not much of a difference you can get it up to the same attack with nether quartz so if you want that split arrow effect just use the bone shaft instead of the wood one then the other one i was going to show you guys is the reed one that one just adds breakable which gives you like a 50 percent chance of not using an arrow when you shoot it and by the way, keep in mind, in the Tinker's Construct, you can pick up your arrows if you would like. Just like that. But you can also just repair them just like you can your tools with either Mending Moss or using a Sharpening Kit, I believe. So you just use whatever head. So we got Mandolin Heads. So I'd put this in here with a Mandolin Sharpening Kit to get it back up to full durability. And the durability is basically your ammo. So we got 78 ammo when this one starts. Right now we're at 7. Now I got our steel short bow right here. It's cobalt and steel on this one. And you'll see it does 34.7 sits damage instead of the original 31.8. And we also got our long bow, which one shot. And here's our long bow at the distance. But you can also hit that mob with the short bow. There's no mob back there now, but as you can see, my arrow went all the way into this wall right here. So yes, you lose range using the short bow compared to the long bow, but I don't think it's significant enough to not use the short bow due to the speed. You can shoot a lot quicker. Last up, I was going to briefly go through the shurikens because I know people are going to ask me about them. I personally don't use them that much. I know people think they're the best, and they are really cool. I'd recommend checking them out for sure. But there's not much to them by means of creating them. So I would just suggest... The same if you've seen my sword tutorial, finding the one that does the most damage and making it out of that. So in Vanilla Tinkers, it's going to be Manolin, and it does plenty of damage to one-hit most mobs. It does 20.1, so barely one-hit most mobs, and that's with no nether quartz or anything added to it. And what I found is a better way to go about it is just put three blades of Manolin and one blade use netherrack that'll you'll lose some attack so you'll lose some damage it says 6.8 instead of the 7.8 originally but because netherrack gives you the trait to basically give you plus four damage to non nether mobs it's gonna one hit every other mob pretty much super easily and when i was testing it it still one hits the blaze in the nether so honestly this is probably your best bet so it just takes three Manolin knife blades and one netherrack knife blade to make that one and you can add nether quartz to it to make it do more damage and you can also do the evil infused one if you want even more damage if you have that in your mod pack and you know how to craft that all right guys i think that's going to be it for this tutorial today tutorial today hope you enjoyed i know it was kind of might have been a bit choppy the bows are a lot more complicated than all the other items in tinker's construct in my opinion but as you can see it's a pretty cool bow look how fast we can shoot so Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my modded Let's Play I'm starting now, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.